Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it is time to play. We are back in Outpost Engineer. I believe this is episode 10 or close to episode 10. And as I mentioned last episode <laughs> for this series, I was only planning on doing four or five, but uh, there is just so much to do here in this game and we have only scratched the surface. All right, we've got the sun coming up. I believe, I believe the sun's coming up. I let the game run for, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes here since the last episode, just kind of running unrecorded. So we may have gotten a couple data cubes. Let's take a look. We got one. Um, and I want to look as the sun comes up. I just want to keep an eye out for that fungal mold that we saw and see if there's any more of that around the factory. And we got to keep an eye over here as well. I think I've got plenty of stone blocks. We've we've set it up so now we've got stone being collected as well as the uh, rock. And the rock is what we've been using to build out our platforms and stuff. Uh, let's see. I think we're in the clear. I don't see any fungal mold or those weird flower things. I guess we could come up here and take a look. I don't see anything. But I imagine that is going to inhibit our workings of our factory at some point and again it's supposedly caused by pollution it looks like our combustion furnace is doing pretty good it's burning uh, it's got plenty of coal burning slow our power network looks like it is deficient in fact our coal miners here are just waiting for something to do Let's come over this way. We set up a little coal outpost way up here. And all we're doing with this coal is turning it into data cubes. And since this is a new resource, there might be a data cube or two in here for us. Let's see. Ooh, five. Nice. Okay. We've got six to go process. It's going to get slower. They're going to be pretty slower. And then I think we were talking about smelting, setting up some copper smelting over here. Still don't have a ton of tin plates. This is where we're doing belts. Let's see. Oh, nice. We've got lots of belts stored up. These don't stack as high as I'd like, but okay, we're good on belts. All right. So we were thinking since we've got coal right here and we've got copper here, maybe we smelt some copper bars. Now we're doing some copper smelting over here, but we're immediately turning it into coils and uh, sending those up. We could do a splitter and save off some coils if we wanted. Right now, I don't have a use for them, so we'll see. But that's another option too. We could always either set up a splitter or just have an inserter uh, populating a copper box full of coils. But I wanna have copper bars. And we need to think about this for a second. Because we need copper bars, but we also need that whole bronze production line. And that involves getting some tin. So let's see, our tin is where? Way over here. Hmm. We don't have copper near tin anywhere, as far as I know. We've done some little bit of exploring. Not, you know, not a ton. But it'd be nice to find some copper next to tin. Let me just do a quick scan, scan a roo here. The copper has what's been kind of a little more scarce for us on this map. We've got tin here. Boy, if we had a little patch of copper here, it'd be so nice. I don't see any. I'm a little bit colorblind, but. I think I can see these ores pretty, pretty clearly. So the colors they've chosen have been pretty good for me anyway. For, let's see. I don't see copper. As I say that there's probably walking on top of copper and not noticing it. <laughs> lots of coal and lots of tin, not enough copper nearby. So we're going to have to get by with what we got over in our main factory for now. I'm not really ready to expand out this far. I just thought maybe if we saw the two together, along with some coal, <laughs> it 
then we could set up that bronze. But we're going to have to route it with belts, it looks like. We've got plenty now. We're producing belts like crazy, so that's awesome. It's finally all automated. Again, our coal looks good. This is all coming out of one coal miner, all this coal here. And we've, we've still got a surplus. So we could branch off coal from here. We could bring the copper this way. And then we need to get the tin on down the hill. Let's do that instead of just worrying about the copper bars. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't get bronze automated. And it's going to mean a tin mine. We'll send the tin straight down here. We could try and burrow underneath this belt. That might be interesting. Or we can go over the top. Either way, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get around this. But we can do it. We can definitely do it. And I'm thinking right out here in the open. Right in this big open space. We drop down with our tin. We send our copper straight on over from here. We can, I think we can still use this same mine. This one's always backing up anyway, right? So we're feeding a molecular analyzer and it's going to burn copper forever, but there's excess. I think we can use that same ore miner and just slap an inserter down, put a belt down and route that over to this open area, melt it, turn it into bars. Again, bring down our tin kind of coming through here, boom, over or under these belts, and then back down to this platform, melt that into tin bars, and then take the tin and the copper bars and put those into another furnace and get our um, bronze bars. And then I think we can maybe send that straight over to a constructor and pound out those, uh, these bronze gears. Now, I don't know that we have any recipes that just required the bronze bar. I think it's always the gears, right? I don't see bronze bars yet. That could change. But yeah, everything I see is bronze gears. Yeah. So we can get gears. And then copper bars, we do have some recipes that use that. The combustion generator needs it. Inserters need it. So we'll probably, once we smelt the copper bars, maybe we'll do a splitter off of that line and uh, redirect some of that. And then maybe the same thing. Well, we don't have tin plates. Whatever. We'll figure that out down the road. But eventually we want to automate these inserters as well, most likely. So we don't have to handcraft those. But the bronze is a big project on its own. So let's see. What do we need to get started on that? I guess we can start... Let's bring the copper over. That's going to be the easy part. So I got to get this little bush out of the way. We'll keep an eye on that fungal mold as we progress. And then I'm just going to put a belt here, an upsloping one. And I always have to remember which one's the upward sloping. Okay, upward is that way. Upward, up and to the right. Let's see if I can remember that. And I think we saw last time that we can just slap an inserter down here and it will actually feed on the incline. So I'm happy about that. Boom. There we go. So that's what I mean by feeding on the incline. We've got tons of regular conveyors now. Ooh, let's see. Is this hovering? Yeah, we're actually high, aren't we? Um... Okay, but we're going to dig in. Let's see. Eventually, yeah, this is going to terraform for us automatically a little bit. So that works. And then I just don't know. I know. Let's go look at the help. I know there's a tip here. We might as well use it uh, for advanced. Okay. Clicking the middle mouse button copies the current selected target for building. Okay. And then while placing blocks, hold control quickly builds a line of blocks towards you. Okay. So control. All right, let's try it with control. I'm going to pop down. I'm going to select this. 
And now I'm gonna hit control and just see what happens when I click. Okay, that didn't do what I thought it would do. I'm holding control and I'm clicking. Okay, now did that actually build? It doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll have to try that one out later. I may ask a question on the Discord about that. Okay, we're coming over here and now we're gonna I need to join up eventually with this uh, tin and we need to put another miner down. And let's see, how do we wanna run these lines? Do we wanna, cause they don't need to join up right away. We could branch down this way. Let's see. We could come a little bit further over here. I wanna leave that tree. Then come straight down this way and dump into our smelter to get our copper bars. And then maybe, hmm, we're gonna wanna branch off. I'm not sure, but I was thinking of two parallel lines here, one for the copper stuff, and then a little bit further over, one for the tin stuff, and then down at the end, maybe this either forks off to the right, as I'm looking at it, and we do the bronze, or we do the bronze just, just at the end of those two copper and tin lines. Let's see. Let's come up to the right level here. That's this guy, and can I place him? doesn't look like it. Let me mine out some of this. I just want to see where we're at. With the, okay. Now maybe I can place it. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. And then a flat. Okay. And then at least one or two more. And then I'm thinking of heading down this direction. So maybe we do this first. Whoops, pardon me, it was my crazy scrolling. And then we will maybe route our tin through here and down. Let's get the copper going first. So we don't need to leave a ton of room. The first thing we need to do is smelt this into ore. We're gonna need a furnace for that. In fact, we're gonna need three furnaces. So let's see if we can get those built. Uh, that, is that at the anvil? Yeah, 10 stones. We may need to go fetch some stones. I think we can build two right now. One, two, and I don't think I have enough stones. No, I don't. I could go fetch some. We'll get them later. This is fine for now. All right, let's grab an insert. <laughs> We're gonna need some inserters. Let's get down the from, and let's pop this furnace down. Oh, we gotta get coal down here as well. A bunch of coal, right? Maybe we put coal down the middle. And by the middle, I mean like right behind here. We run a line of coal down. Boy, we've already got it split in there. Um. Well, let's do another mine for coal. We'll do another mine for coal. We'll bring this guy down here and then maybe right behind here. And then we'll feed the furnaces. We're going to feed a furnace for the copper. And then we'll also feed a furnace maybe on this side for the tin. And then as we go down, we'll continue the coal line down. And somewhere down here, we're going to feed a furnace that's making the bronze out of the tin bars and the coal and the uh, copper bars. All right, so let's do that. Let's get the coal going. We need a miner, which I don't have. We've got data cubes. We can do that in a little bit as well. Let's go get a miner or a drill, I should say. Mining drill. I need more stones. All right, well, we got to go get stones anyway. Let's go do it. We'll make the trip. Things are looking pretty good. Keeping an eye out for the mold. I don't see it. <laughs> Not sure how often it comes. The more we build, I'm sure the faster it's going to come upon us. Ooh, we can only still store 40 stones in here. I'm going to take them all. And, uh, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Back to it. And we were going to bring some coal down. Let's pop a miner down. I'm just going to scroll through my toolbars. I have a miner here somewhere. 
spot. Maybe not. Oh, I didn't build it yet. I had to get the stone. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Let's do it. Miner. I think we just, we're going to need two. We're going to need one for tin. So I'll go ahead and grab two. I think I have these. No, I don't. I need more copper bars. It's funny because we're about to smelt some. I've got some in here. That helps. Let's see. Got one. Let's get another mining drill while we're here. And again, we're getting coal to power our furnaces. So, and it's going to be another thing we're going to have to hop over with our iron line, unfortunately. So, does it make sense to do it up here and then bring it down and over? And then... Now we'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and pop a miner down. Or drill, I should say. Rotate this guy around. How about like that? Boom. And then we need a inserter. And of course we don't have those. It's something we keep talking about automating. And what we're doing now may help us get there. Right now we're having to manually craft these. At least we're not having to do the belts. All right, let's grab, can I get two? Yeah. We're definitely gonna wanna save off the copper bars too. All right, there's our miner. Let's grab a power pole also and get this guy hooked up. That one's got three connections, so it can take a fourth. Boom. Oops. Boom. To boom and then boom to and this little feller. Let's see if I can get an inserter on here. I might need to put a platform up. Let's see what it does if I click it. Oh, no, it's going down. All right, let's grab that guy. That's why we automated our stone early on. So our rocks, let's do that. Let's build a little platform. We can still come down, but uh, let's see if we can't get this guy started up here. Boom. And then, oh, we can experiment and see if you can actually uh, do a load, a downward sloped belt. Now, that would be interesting. I'm not holding out hope for that, but, oh, man, that is cool if it does. Nice. That is helpful. That is helpful. I think I want to dig and keep coming down, right? Let's take a little bit of this dirt out and see if we can continue with the downslope to uh, conveyor until we get to level land down here. And again, it's a little weird with the voxel stuff, but we will get through it. Boom. And then this may level off for us automatically. That one I did not need to dig out. Boy, it almost looks like there's something under there, doesn't it? Let's, uh... Yeah, oh, it's just trying to place it. All right, let's put a block down, or a piece of stone here. I probably shouldn't have dug that out. Right there, that'll level that off. And let's go with our belts. Boom, boom. And boom. And we do need to come down here. So can I do that yet? Or do I need to dig? I think I need to dig. So let's try it. Come on, come on. Boom. Now will this guy let me come down? It looks like he does. And we want to join up. We want to be able to feed this uh, furnace. So let's pop these guys down just so we can see where we need to join up. It might do it for us right here. Nice. All right. All right. All right. So that's going to power our furnace. I would love to have electric furnaces because, boy, running a power cable is a lot easier than routing this coal all the time. But we'll do what we can do where we are in the game. 
we are at the early stages, I think. All right, that is going to get us some iron ingots. Or a copper ingots, sorry. Uh, that'll help. We no longer need to uh, do all that silly shuttling of copper from this copper mine. We're having it automatically sent into a furnace that is automatically supplied with coal fuel. So that is a relief. Now we're going to want to branch off of this somehow and save off some of those uh, copper ingots. In fact, let's see if I can grab some and build a copper container. I don't know that I have any on me. I do not. So we definitely want that. We want to bank some of this copper. Uh, and I think we can do that. We can either do it with a splitter or I can just take it right out of here. Again, this whole line is going to be about bronze. We're going to need to send this copper down. So why don't we try it with a splitter just so that we don't starve out. Uh, we don't starve out our bronze. Or we don't starve out our supply of copper bars. Let's grab, I'm going to grab more of this copper and I need to make inserters. What do we need? We're, see, we need those bronze gears. Do I have bronze? Oh man, I have nine bronze. We're going to turn it all into gears. Like I said before, I don't see a use for bronze outside of gears yet. So I feel somewhat safe just processing everything down into um, the gears. All right, we're going to pull from see how do we want to do this let's take it from the back and put down a belt that is the one that's going to go eventually turn into bronze whoops let me take this one up i want to get a splitter i gotta build the that that's another thing we may want to automate down the road fortunately i've got the three bronze gears all right so let's put a splitter our copper bars. Boy, it's nice to see these being automatically created. Pretty happy about that. All right, this one, we want to go just like that. And then this one's going to be real easy. I think I need more inserters, lots more inserters. And then for inserters, I need more gears and bars. Let's see if I can do it. One, two, three. Fortunately, they only take one bronze gear. Now we're coming up short on the copper. I don't know if I've got anything in here. I don't. Um, let's make a gear with that last piece of bronze and let's go steal some copper out of here. Again, that is awesome. Awesome seeing that being made in an automated fashion. It was a pain in the butt to keep shuttling over there. All right. I'm hoping I can just take right off of this belt and pop it into a copper box. Now these don't have the most, oh, do I have one or did I use it up? Uh, looks like I need to build another copper box. I've got the bar. Oh no, I've got one right there. Let's see. It's got to be on a toolbar here somewhere. There it is. And then this one is just going to hopefully, oh no, he won't do it. So that grabber is not going to pull off of a splitter. That's all right. Not a big deal. We just got to move everything down one more. Not a big deal at all. Let's do it. We will grab our belt and we'll pop it down here. This one we know is going to keep going for, for quite a while, actually. But this guy, we want to put a uh, inserter down and hopefully fill up this copper box. Now, come on and do it for me. There we go. Nice. And this will use for the manual crafting stuff like inserters, I think take the copper bars. And so hopefully this splits it even. And then this line is going to be, uh, eventually turned this, all this copper is eventually going to be turned into bronze. So that's the copper half of the equation. Let's get, and we got the coal coming down. So let's extend that line. 
that's going to feed two more furnaces down the road, one for the tin and then one for the bronze. So I think one miner will be able to supply all that. Of course, we're generating probably a bunch of pollution and we got to keep an eye open for that fungal stuff. I'm just looking around to see if we have any so we can get to it early. I'm not sure if that runs on some kind of game clock where every once in a while it just sprouts up or what but I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep an eye out for it. All right, next we need to get tin and we need to run that down here somewhere. We know we're going to have another furnace. Let's go ahead and place that. We know roughly where that needs to be. We can kind of do a little symmetry here, right? Maybe there, is that it? Uh, that's it. That'll do close enough. If it's not, it looks pretty darn close. And then this furnace is going to get fed by the same coal line here. Hopefully they won't fight over the same belt. Doesn't look like that's going to be a problem. All right. And then we're going to run tin right down. Uh, I guess it can come right into the side if we can. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to get this tin where we want it. Let's, did I grab another miner? I think I did, right? Let's see. Yep, there it is. Let's just uh, pop one here. We're gonna have to do some digging potentially. That one's got another connection left. He's connected to three. That one does not have any connections left. I think I'm actually gonna throw another power pole down uh, just so we have some more ways to connect up power and grab some wire here and we'll take the last connection of that guy and pop it here and then this guy is going to connect and power up our new tin drill we're starting to get a little factory going here we need my favorite component that i never have inserters we'll be happy when these are automated Let's grab some copper bars. I think we're going to need 27. Nice. Oh man. That is so much easier than doing the hand smelting. Let's see if we can get some more inserters. See, we're going to run out of bronze uh, gears here in a minute. We've only got four left, but what we can do now that we're getting copper bars, let's get this furnace going on. Cause I got a ton of tin, right? Let's get this guy going on bronze bars. And at least we can manually create those gears. We still have some tin ore we need to burn off too. All right, so let that do its bronze thing. We're coming in nighttime. How am I doing on torches? Three? Uh, let's see. Didn't I put sticks over here somewhere? What do I need for torches? I think I need sticks. I've got plenty on me. Let's grab some more copper bars. Boom. Already got eight. That's fine. Let's grab some torches. Grab eight more of those. And then what do we do? We got our inserters. We've got plenty of belts and we are looking at routing our tin. And it's definitely not as fun at night to do this part. Okay, we put the miner down way up here. And now we just gotta think about how do we wanna route this tin? <laughs> we know where we need to end up. That tree's probably gonna have to go. We need to end up somewhere around this furnace. It can be in front. It'd be nice to have it right next to it. Man, that's going to be a tough, a tough thing to do with the uh, conveyors. I think we may have to push this guy down. Let's try and see what we can do. This may take a little effort. We're coming up on the end of the episode. Whoops, that's not. So that wouldn't be a bad spot. Now, can I actually make my way way up over all this stuff? I don't think so. Let's try one more over actually. 
think this would be a little better. Uh, we have to dig. Let's dig. Or, yeah, we're going to have to dig. I hate digging. Or I could pump this guy up. Yeah, but then he won't be able to get the coal. All right, let's take that one out. We don't want it. We don't want you there. I'm not sure it's not letting me grab this. Let me grab this guy. Let me dig this out and this out. And then maybe I can grab this guy. It's not letting me. Ooh. Okay. There we go. Finally got it out of there. That was a little tough. I'm not sure what the hiccup was. Boom. And again, I want to kind of come up from here. This is the first belt that the inserter is eventually going to pull from. Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. Sorry about that. Let's chip away that. Chip away that. select that we want a belt it's going to feed in this way we're going to have our inserter here we can pop that guy down it's going to look just like that and that's provided we can get up here we might not be able to we may have to move this around so we want to go up that is this one boom and i don't see i think we're going to be stuck there yeah we're going to need to move stuff down so let's take this out and this out and this out and let's try the other approach of starting from where the tin is and working our way down this hill and then we'll join up with the uh the furnace probably a little bit further down because it's just going to be hard to get over all this stuff right yeah we'll, we'll have to see we just have to do it let's do it let's do it let's do it let's go ahead and put our Our, uh, inserter down and then we can I guess start off by coming over this way a little bit let's try it boom and then maybe now start our journey down this way boom boom just pop these down one at a time I think we're coming down can I do a downward and then let's see if it clears the path for me when I place this. It did. We're good. Now, okay, now I need to go up over this guy. So in order to do that, we're going to have to drop, I think, a bit of stone. We're already at the end of the episode here. But let me just try to do a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh. That's too high. It does not like that. Let's see. If I take this guy out, will it put it here? That's pl plenty good enough for me. And let's put this belt here. And then can I get a belt there? Ooh, it is letting me snap, or at least it let me snap that one. Um, I could go ahead and come down from here. Let's see. Is that going to let me snap? Nice. I like it. And then how about a crossed? Okay, good. So far I can dig that stuff out and make it look better. And then can I come down again? Okay, I've got it selected. Can you come down? Oh man, this looks awesome. Very nice. And I think if we want to get clever, I think I can come this way, right? Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Can I do this and then come down? That's this guy, right? I might have to dig. Or I could just uh, maybe right there. And then one more here, maybe. Check us out. Check us out. Oh, man. We have pulled it off. We pulled it off. I don't believe it. That is pretty sweet, and it's a good place to stop. Boom. Nice. 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 We should see that light up here in a second. There we go. Very cool. There's our tin. All right. This is a good place to wrap the episode. Um, we've got, uh, we're working on bronze. We're just about there. We've got 
the tin now finally being smelted into bars. And then we've got copper bars aplenty. We're saving some off here for our own kind of handcrafting stuff, which is good. No more having to shovel, shuttle copper from that little mine <laughs> over to our manual furnace and keep doing that. And then eventually we won't need to manually create the, um, the bronze gears. So that will be another huge step because we need those bronze gears for our, um, for our inserters that we have to keep manually creating. And eventually we will automate those as well. In fact, this, this, uh, tin that we're making, we may want to split that off and create some plates because, uh, we could use those plates and the extra copper bars and then the bronze gears, which we're going to make at the end of the line and route those three products into a, where is it? Into our assembler and then get inserters automated. And that would be sweet. At that point, we'd have the rock automated, which is our kind of our platform material we've been using to level the land. We'd have belts automated, or at least our main conveyors, and then also our inserters. So that will speed up the expansion of our factory. So again, yeah, when we get back next episode, we will finish that bronze line and the bronze gears, and then we'll give some thought to automating the inserters. And then maybe we switch back to thinking about, okay, how can we get more products into our molecular analyzers so we can get more data cubes? Let's see if this guy produced any. Nope. <laughs> so it takes a long time. Scott. Oh, this says one more. Let's see. Did we actually, Oh, look at that. 38. Is that true? Or is this number just going really high? So that's kind of hard to believe, right? I have a feeling it's just not displaying the full number of how many ore it's going to take. Or when we first opened up the screen, it just didn't update. And now it is updated. Anyway, I'm dawdling here and babbling. So I will end the episode here. If you like this content, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And we're in episode 10, I believe. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? We've got lots of factory games. This is just one of many awesome games on the channel. So if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, go ahead and subscribe and then uh, click the notify button, I guess, and that'll notify you when I have more content. But I'm planning for it lots more. So for now, this is GliderCat signing off saying thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.